Our next guest is making history as the curviest model to ever appear in Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. However, she's also an activist, and she's here to talk about her all-worthy campaign. Please welcome back to our home, Hunter McGrady. Yay! By the way, here. once is nice, twice is better. Oh. I mean, you made it. And a it. third time's a charm. Yeah. Right. Congratulations. Thank it's you Sports so Illustrated for your second time. Yeah. What's, what's that mean to you? Oh, my gosh. Well, this time we did a completely different. We did, again, something that they've never done before. Um, we were, again, naked. I don't think I've ever actually been in Sports Illustrated with clothes on. But <laughs> um, but we, I, we, we, all the girl, 10 girls were naked in the In Her Own Words project. And we each were able to kind of orchestrate our own shoot in a sense. We each got to choose words and put them on our bodies and uh, words that meant something to us. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, and we had some amazing message. women like Ali Raisman, who you guys, I'm sure, yeah, of course. Right now, Paulina Poroskova, who's in her 50s. So yeah, this shoot was yeah. just really powerful, and it's just been really, really incredible. To be well, I know one of the words that you chose to write across your chest was the word worthy. Yes. And you have started an incredible women empowerment movement on social media with the hashtag allworthy. What does the word worthy mean to you? Worthy to me, I think, is such a substantial and hearty and amazing word. Um, what The way I kind of came about All Worthy was last year after Sports Illustrated, I was just sitting there watching TV thinking, wow, I'm living in New York City. I'm, I've just shot Sports Illustrated. It was kind of a whirlwind for me. And 16-year-old Hunter, you know, who was, you know, had eating issues, depressed, and had, you know, all these things going on trying to be this size two model would have never thought that I would have been worthy of wow. you know being in this position um, and then I thought well you know what we're all worthy of that mm -hmm. men women we are all worthy of mm -hmm. being successful feeling beautiful feeling loved um, and I think that that's such an important message so I really wanted to put that on my chest because it was also the first thing that you see in the photo sure. and it's really the, taken off the the online campaign all yeah. so many women are now just posting and yeah and, writing yeah. Such and beautiful hashtagging things. um all worthy right yeah yeah, yeah. But, you know it's not just girls like you said there's boys there's young men there's and then and it's all about this body image mm -hmm. like we're you know we're shells this is the shell of who we really are on the inside what advice or message i know you said worthy but is there something else out there that might ring true to those who are still struggling with a body image? You know what, I think the biggest thing, right now we're living in a very digital world. So we are constantly on our social media, we're constantly on Instagram. I think that it's so important to flood our Instagram following with positivity. Mm -hmm. You can choose to follow positive people. Right. You know what I mean? Because we know we're all gonna be scrolling on our phones all day long. So sure. make sure you fill your mind with people who are also positive. Uh, I think that, that is so important. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's there's like a, a spring couple of the cleaning. Yes. yes. A yeah. spring, yeah. spring cleaning yes. of your phone. Cleanse. Yes. Cleanse. How, I love that. Yeah, because that imagery just, you know, yeah. you, oh, we create dream boards and we talk sure. about how that leads us down a path. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the same sort of idea when you're flooded with those images. Yeah, and I'm such a positive believer in, you know, feeding our souls good, positive you know, powerful thoughts is just as important as feeding our right. bodies good food. Sure. Right, and we just saw some photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those were of some of the girls that were posting on your... Which is amazing. On your all yeah. worthy. Well, you know, thanks to social media and you posting positive <laughs> things yeah. and maybe some people <laughs> seeing some positive things on your social media, you actually met your boyfriend who has now become your fiance. Oh, yeah. thanks oh, to... Yay. Yay. Thank thanks you. To you. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. So I met him on Snapchat. Can you believe that? I always that thought crazy. I was always like, no, I'm gonna meet him in the wild, like in the, <laughs> in the bar. You know what I mean? In yeah, the wild. In the I'm wild. gonna meet him in the wild. That's what we always say. <laughs> and um, well, that's so oh, cute. That's yeah, cool. that's him. We got engaged on Bow Bridge in New York City. Oh. It was seven degrees that day. When we were walking around, I was kind of like. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> it's degrees. Um, and then that happened, and I was like, oh, oh my God, the love of my life. But uh, yeah, we met on Snapchat through a that fan, actually. What? She wow. said, Hunter, you should follow this. They were on a date. <gasps> oh, boy. I know. Do I send her champagne? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> they were on a date, and 
they're still together. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> And, it's and, a situation. Yeah, and it's just what really weird. weird. She doesn't know yet. 21st century. Um, and so, yeah, she basically said, listen, you should follow this girl on Snapchat. He had followed me for a few months, reached out to me and said something so funny because humor for me yeah. is like, yeah. I will yeah. respond. If someone is funny, so I'm attractive. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh. And then the rest is history. Two years later, I'm engaged. Oh, my gosh. Aww. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I know it was only seven degrees, but I'm guessing you didn't wear one of your new swimsuits that you're going to be <laughs> launching. Your swimsuit line, yes. right? I am launching a collaborative swimwear line with Playful Promises. It comes out in June. Aww. I'm so excited. We worked so hard on this. And I yeah. mean, the suits are incredible. Like the way that we made them, I mean, it's so hard for me, you know, at a size 16 to find something that, you know, is still, you know, sexy, but right. not too, you know, where sure. I don't want to show everything, but I want to wear it out with my girlfriends. That like looks my other nice. Friends do, and it looks right. nice. And we have something for everybody. We have mm -hmm. something for an older woman. We have something for a younger girl. I mean, we really just hit it How on the exciting. market. You should come back in June when you're ready to launch. Yes, yes. I would love, love to. Yes. 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 Love yes. And you know what else would be great? If they use it in uh, the, the Sports Illustrated Which suit issue next yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Well, typically, from what I gather, they don't tend to use clothes in <laughs> Never see a swimsuit in that issue. <laughs> yeah, the ones that you make, maybe the lecture. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining yes. us, Hunter. We love it when you are here. You